right guys welcome back to another video today guys i have a nice breakfast or uh, brunch meal right here this is a ham and cheese quiche and guys this thing is packed with flavor so we're not going to waste any time i'm going to jump right into this video and i'm going to show you exactly how i get it done Alrighty guys, so for this recipe right here, I have me some Pillsbury pie crust and I also have me some ham left over from Easter that I just chopped up. I have me some sauteed onions, four eggs, and I have some mild cheddar cheese. And those potatoes were actually in my instant con order that I didn't order, but they still wouldn't take it back. So I'm going to be using those on the side just to see how they taste. And I didn't have any heavy cream, so I mixed my milk and my butter together. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I'm going to crack my eggs. Get them down inside of my bowl. I'm using four large eggs for this recipe. I could have had those cracked already. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so that's the last egg. All right, now all I'm going to do is add my milk and butter mixture. I didn't have any heavy cream, so I did a substitute, which is a three-fourth cup of milk to one-fourth cup of butter for each cup of uh, heavy cream that you need. So in total, I ended up using one and a half cups of milk and one stick of melted butter alrighty guys so after I whisk my egg and my milk together now I'm just going to come in with my ham and just place this on the bottom of my pie crust and I sprayed my pie dish with a little bacon spray just to make sure that it doesn't stick to my dish alright then I'm going to come in and add some of my onions to it And I guess you can add bell peppers to this if you would like, but I didn't add any of those. I just wanted to do just the onions and the ham and cheese. All right, now I'll come in and add some of my shredded, this is mild cheddar cheese. All right, so once I get that in, then I'm just going to repeat that step. Coming in and adding my ham, the rest of my ham, I should say. And then I'll add the rest of my onions and my cheese, and then I'll move on to the next step. Okay, guys, so I have all of my egg, I mean my ham and cheese, onions added. Now I'm just going to come and pour my milk and egg mixture over the top of this. Now this turned out to be just a little bit more than two cups. And I didn't think all of it will fit, so I wanted to pour it inside of my uh, measuring cup here first and then add it. But all of it did end up getting inside of here. And what I did is I made this uh, Tuesday night and then I let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. All right, and I'm just kind of spreading it out a little bit just to make sure that all of this is nice and evenly sprayed. And then I put this in the refrigerator overnight, and this morning I let it sit for about an hour to come up to room temperature, and then I baked it off. And this baked on 350 for about uh, 35 minutes. Alrighty guys, so this is my quiche once it came out of the oven. Like I said, I let this go on 350 for about 35 minutes and I cooked it uncovered. And this came out absolutely beautiful, nice and golden brown. The crust is nice and crispy around the edges. So I just want to let that set up for about 30, 40 minutes. And then I'm going to cut it, give it a try. 
And I'm just going to roast those potatoes off in the oven. I'm not going to add anything to it because it already has sea salt and black pepper on it. And I'm going to plate this up, guys, and I'm going to give it a nice taste test. All right, all right, guys. I'm going to give this a quick taste test. My ham and cheese uh, quiche. And I got me some roasted potatoes that I'm going to be trying out for the first time. So we are going to jump right on into this thing. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. That's definitely good. And the funny thing is I forgot to add any kind of salt or pepper to it. But it really didn't need anything because of the cheese and the ham. That's real good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying one of these potatoes. Mm. Definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely has a good flavor from that sea salt, but I mean. I've made roasted potatoes better than that, so. But hey, I didn't pay for it, so I'm still going to enjoy it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, guys. This was an absolutely wonderful meal. I had this for my breakfast this morning, or brunch, because it was almost 11 o'clock when I ate it. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And guys, I will see you in the next video, which is going to be a homegrown meal that I grew up eating and that I absolutely love. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to take my old people nap. <laughs> Peace.